Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We are back again for another fun fill. Final fight extravaganza. Yep, we had so much fun getting our butts kicked by one and doing respectably decent at two that we are continuing our journey of punching and kicking with Carlos yeah. for those of you who forgot where we left off in Final Fight 2 instead of traveling just through the metro city of Final Fight 1 We are going around the world because the Mad Gear gang has gone international and we're not putting up with their shenanigans. Ondore. Yes. Our Andre the Giant stand-ins are going to join us for our second night of final fighting. Unless you're marathoning this, in which is just the second episode. By all means, marathon this. This is actually going to make a pretty interesting playthrough. If you watch both parts together. Alright, and Andore, you're being a jerk. You too, Elias. And I see you, Bull. Come on, get out here so I can kick you. Unlike some of your fancy Let's Players. Who... I do not necessarily like massively marathon games and record multiple sessions together on an all-day thing. But that is okay. Because you know what? This is a wonderful post-work therapy. Discount Vega is coming to get me. Ah. Fire bed. Mm. No fire. Me no like fire. Fire bad. However, fighting on top of trains is apparently all good, especially in London. Philippe? Philippe is a clown! Hey, are you clowning me? Do not appreciate being made a clown. Huh? You mocking me with your clowny cane hitting ways? Alright, that's actually pretty, uh, mean. Alright. Alright, let's use my invincibility frame. Seriously, you're actually kind of hard, Philippe. I'd really prefer if you not have a bunch of buddies helping you. Ah, oh, having a weapon right now would be really good. Dude, you have a katana strap to your back. Why can I not pull my katana out? And duel with Philippe as he hits me with his clown pimp cane. It's not cool, Philippe. Not cool. Look, dude, I get it, alright? Hey, stop it. Stop it, you're being a bad clown. This is why, hey, God, your hit range on that thing is ridiculous. Get your... There, die clown. God. Alright, so when you're in London... Um, beware of clown pimps if you are riding the trains, because apparently they will hit you with their... Okay. Okay, I guess I can't hit them when they're on fire. Because they will hit you with their pimp canes. 
And those pimp canes will hurt a lot. You will be like, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'll get you your money. I'll go back on the street corner. I'll make you your money, Daddy. Just don't hit me with your clowny pimp cane. All right. Got my big bonus points. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I just lost way too many lives doing messing with Philippe, so. See if I can get me a little one up or something. Oh! Now I use. Now I figure out how to use my sword. That might have been helpful when Philippe was running around. Uh. Alright, folks, I'm just kind of silly. I apologize for everybody that is hardcore Final Fight fans who are sitting there going, You can use your sword, you're just not hitting the proper controls. Because, yes, I wasn't. Uh, yeah, no, I shouldn't have called you Discount Vega earlier. Your, your discount is on Geef. I apologize. Hey! I said I apologize. Quit being a jerk about it. Go away. I'm down to my last life. I don't want to deal with no discount Zongief. Capcom asset recycling nonsense. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I'm going to stab somebody. Hey, get back up here. I said I'm going to stab somebody. Stab, stab. Yeah, yeah. What you want? What you want, huh? Throw it away. Saw. So, hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Bear hug bad. Bear hug bad. Kick to the face. Good. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> okay. We're going to go with Maki Ninja Girl. Maybe Atlas, the not Zangief, will be less mean to her. Because she is a pretty ninja girl who shows off much legness. Yes, the showing of much legness is ancient ninja technique. Nobody wants to see my skeleton. Nobody. Oh, Mr. Atlas, you're so big and you totally don't look like another character from a popular Capcom franchise that involves a lot of violence in the streets. You could call it a street fight, if you will. You're totally an original character. Mm. We are. Right. Episode one callback. Action pose kick. Post kick. Aww. Action pose knockout. Action pose kick. Mm -mm. Why am I always running into dead end walls in this game? Action pose kick. Action pose kick. Just ping. Ah! No! Bad touch! Bad touch! I cancel culture you. Whee! Ooh. Now I am on the ship of Italy. 
I wonder if they import pasta to many nations. I like the spaghetti. I like the alfredo of fettuccine. I like the rigatoni. I like the chicken parmesan. I like the veal parmesan. That's a little more controversial though here in America because not everybody supports veal. In the admittedly really awkward and horrible ways that the animals are treated before being processed into the veal. But we're not going to get into the politics of that for it is fun game time. And I am a pretty girl who likes to show off her legs and do a shampoo's kick. I also like the macaroni with cheese, although that is not super Italian anymore. It's been very Americanized. I like the Italian dressing. I like the garlic bread and the gar oh the garlic knots especially. Yes, garlic knot. <gasps> Big punch. <gasps> Ooh, tourists. Don't be snapping pictures of me, you pervert old man. Don't you be zooming in on my butt. Ah! Recycle background assets. It's the same two tourists over and over again. Oh no! Another wall! Seriously, was Capcom getting these this game subsidized by Wall Inc? We build walls, walls, and only walls. If you want ceilings and floors, you've got to call it the other guys. We just do walls. And occasionally, we bring in outside contractors for action post kick! Look, I'm going to punch one of you at a time, all right? See, when you get all crowded together and try to be greedy, you get thrown into each other. Because that's bad behavior. I see you trying to electrocute me, don't you? Bad! See, what did I tell you? No crowding together. You get all kicked into each other and thrown into each other. Because it's very rude. Yeah. Yeah, what you think about that, huh? Huh? You like that? I don't think you do like it. Seem like you're actually quite objecting quite a lot to it. Mm. Come on. Come on, I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of you. What you got? Hmm? Not cool, bro. Not cool. Into the boat. Oh. Yay, I got barbecue. What a very American thing to have in Italy. Ah. Come, on, come on, weapon, weapon, weapon. 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 Aww. Gandore! So there's like Andore and Andore Jr. and G Andore, who's apparently like Grandpa Andore. And there's a U Andore, who's like Uncle Andore. So Andore's the family name. Ooh, she action post kicked the door. <gasps> Roll it! Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. You got creepy weird shadow moves. And I am not.
not doing good against you at all. And you have, like, white energy, which is so much energy. So much more energy than me. <clears throat> oh, stop it. Oh, God. You're so... Ugh. Just such a weird fighting style. I don't like it. Oh, come on. Bad. Ah, you little bouncy man. Bouncy Italian man. Ah, oh, God, I got to no, 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 not the throw, not the stick either, I don't like either one of those, <laughs> you're still green, I'm not gonna make it. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I don't want to do the whole stage over again. Oh, bad Roland. All right. Ah, 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 ah. Please tell me I get to fight just Roland with four lives. Yes. Yes, that, that just makes everything different. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Con thank you, checkpoint gods. God, he... God, he's so sticking... Yeah! What you think about that? Yeah! Pile drive your butt. Come here. Come here. You stand still and fight like a man. Alright? I am Mike Hagar. I'm Capcom crossover killer. Mayor of Metro City. I don't care about no mad year nonsense. What you got, Roland? What you got? Yes, yeah, suplex. Yeah, come on, come on. Don't you give me that stick. You, I'm going to show you what you can do with that stick. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, what you got? What you got? Come on, come on. No, 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 no. You, you bouncy little prick. Come on. Come on. Yes, got you down to yellow. Now we're going to talk. Now we're getting some... Whoa, whoa. Grenades are not cool. Grenades are not cool. That is not acceptable. Hey, hey, hey. What the sin... You can't just throw grenades. You... Bad, bad, what the? Bro! That is like 18 different levels of not kosher. Just because I was actually doing good against you, you gotta throw grenades at. What is your problem, man? Like, you are just not at all a cool person, okay? You are, like, the worst part of Italy. You do not deserve to be associated with the many fine pasta dishes produced in this country. You're, you don't even deserve to be associated with the garlic knots. All right, that's it. Come here. Come here. Come here. I just got to get, like, one more... You get, like, one more good hit on you. That's what I thought. That's what you get for messing with Mayor Mike Hagar. As Roulette laid on the ground, he told our three heroes something shocking. You must travel back to Japan where Master awaits you. 
There you will find Genrishiai and Reina. But beware, my master, most powerful man in the world, cannot be defeated. You will die. Ha ha ha. <sighs> okay, so back to Japan, which is surprisingly bright for 11:30 at night. Okay, well, there's some darkness. Woo! Come on, come get me. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, walk right over here. Yeah. Okay. I let that one get me too, but. I don't care, because you know what? I'm here! We're at the end game! Back to Japan! We're fighting the super secret hidden boss, because it wasn't Rolent! Because he's a little wall bouncing shadow punk with his grenades. Which is totally not cool. I didn't have any weapons. You know what? We're going to stay with Mayor Mike. So come on, what you got? <laughs> Sucker. Hey, hey. I will take no hugs from not Zangief. What you got? What you got? Huh? Yeah. How you like my head butts? Yeah. I just dealt with Roland and his white bar of health. I'm not afraid of your little light green bar. Yep. Punk. Come here. What you got? What you got? You got nothing. You got nothing. You are nothing. I am everything. For I am Mayor Mike. And I will not tolerate my friends, loved ones, getting kidnapped by a gang that I already kicked out of Metro City. By God, it's Mike! Yeah, I'm still gonna say slash ha hashtag Mayor Kane for Mayor Hagar. Live action movie. Come on, let's make a final fight movie happen. We can do it off the first one. We can just keep it in Metro City. Save all this international stuff for the sequel. Maybe the television miniseries. Or Netflix. Because apparently that's the hip, trendy thing for the kids now. Yeah. We should get Netflix to do it. It's not hip and trendy to be on TV anymore. You want to be cool with the young kids, you got to have a Netflix series. I will take down all Andores. No matter where you are on the family tree. For you are Mad Gear, and Mad Gear must fall beneath the heels of Mare Mike. What did I say? Fall against my heels. Hey. That's what I thought. Oh, kind of wish I had some barbecue right now. Actually, I could use some barbecue in real life. Good, slow, simmer, juicy barbecue pork. See? That's what happens when you don't get your barbecue. Now, I gotta make you my lunch. Get in my belly. I'm gonna eat you. What you got? You got nothing, Atlas. What you got? You got nothing. Huh? Come on, come on, come on! Huh? That's what I thought. You're gonna get killed. dun 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 dun
Yeah, I see you hiding over there, Andore Jr. Come on. Come on. You ain't too big for me. Huh? You ain't Andre big. You ain't even Paul White big. Huh? Well, it's the big show. Burn out. Burn out. Well, it's the big bad show tonight. Hey. Hey. Come here, Voltage Boy. Come here. Come on. Hey! You guys are upsetting Mayor Mike Hagar. When you upset Mayor Mike Hagar, you get kicked in the face. And you get suplexed. Mm. Yeah! Because I am the Slam Master. That's what I thought. Seriously? I don't get no weapons. I don't get no barbecue. This level's whack. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody. I, I can't go because people are trying to kill me. I will go when I have killed these people. Don't rush me. What did I just say? Don't rush me. I don't rush me. I'm not going to sing the rest of that song. I will not torture you people that way, because you're so nice to watch my stream. The gamey games. The gamey, gamey, gamey games. <gasps> More Andores! It's an Andore tag team! See, you're getting clever. You're not taking your time. You know, when I say to that, that's what I say. <laughs> yeah, I caught you trying to bum charge me. <laughs> <laughs> It's Grandpa Andore. I mean, Uncle Andore is going to show up eventually. I hope so, because, you know, I just want to make this whole family go away. Once and for all, for Mad Gear must fall. Yeah, we're going to break into this house. Yeah, look at that literal break in. Little B and E for you. Ah, oh, come on! No weapon in there? Man, this level's whack. I do not like Japan. Give me a nice 2x4 like I got in Italy. Although Japan does have some great food, too. Not a single weapon for Hagar. That is just so sad. I feel so deprived. You know what? If this is Metro City. My constituents would have weapons they would gladly let me borrow. I'm surrounded by borrowed asset wannabes. Hey, hey, hey! I do not like your hugs. They are very non-consensual. They are not wanted. They are not desired. I'm going to have to kick all three of you now. Mm, suplex you a little. Oh god, there's more. Why are there more of you? I don't want there to be more of you. You're very cloney. Stop it. Can I fight some more bulls? And some more shots? 
Yeah, the amount of knockoff Zangief's in this fight is bullshot. No! Stop doing that! I'm gonna keep kicking you till you die. Because I don't want you hugging me anymore. I don't like your hugs. They hurt. They are way too intense. They break ribs. That is not how you hug somebody. That is not an appropriate way to show affection. There's shot. No, I don't want to fight Fatty with this voltage. Oh, come on! I was in midair. Such a ripoff. Come here, come here. I'm so mad. I'm up. See, look what you made me do, Flick. I had to kick Bull. See, you're making me so mad I'm taking it out on Bull, and that is not fair to him. need you boys to stop this right now. It is very inappropriate. It hurts my feelings. Okay. I feel better now. <laughs> no more discounts and gifts. Iliot got me. All right. Yes. Okay, get to start inside the house. That'll be a little bit better. Oh. This time I get something, but it's just a points thing. Well, I guess that'll help me in the long run. Randomized barrel nonsense. All right, let's try this again, folks. We're going to drop kick, drop kick, and then do a suplex for variety. Drop kick, drop kick, suplex for variety. Hey, we did not say killer bear hug. Don't like you guys anymore. You're not my friends. This is a toxic relationship. I'm gonna have to cut you off, all right? I'm sorry. I know it's hard for anybody to hear, but it's the truth. You're not good for me. Yeah? You just... 
bad things happen when you're around. So I'm just going to have to ask all of you guys to just not be around me for a while. I have to work on myself and dismantling your entire international criminal organization because that positively enriches my spirit and helps my emotional state. I was letting you continue to hold my friends and their loved ones hostage does not. Not to mention all the bear hugging that cracks ribs and the electrocuting from the tuning forks carried by fat guys. I'm not fat shaming, but let's be honest, you're a little oversized in the middle area. Just being honest. Something you have to work on as a person. I will go when I want to go. Come here. Slam Master Drop Kick! You'll see because Mike Hagar was a character in Saturday Night Slam Masters, which was also a game by Capcom. It was kind of like a pro wrestling game, but it used fictional characters, even though the fictional characters were clearly inspired by real life characters, except for Mike Egar, who is an existing licensed character. And I think I may have said too much. What you what you what you want what you want you want some you can't have some you want some you can't get none cuz I'm Mayor Mike and I'm here to say I'm gonna bust you up this very day came to Japan to wreck mad gear my big pile drivers you will soon fear suplex Drop kick. My name's not Rick. Electricity and flames are really bad tricks. <laughs> I don't want to be set on fire. Oh, look at that. Killed by your own fire. How deliciously ironic. You know, that could have been a health healing item. That. That would have not been offensive to me at all. You would not have health bar shamed me if you did that. It's another Andorre Jr., but it's not Uncle Andorre. Dude! Did we not have this discussion about the electricity and how it's contributing to our toxic relationship? You know what? I'm just... I'm sorry, but... I'm gonna have to suplex you now. And I'm gonna have to suplex all your friends. Because you're just, you're being very negative. And I don't appreciate it. Come on, Andorra Jr. I've already beaten all your friends in a submission. You need to just stay down yourself because I'm gonna keep kicking you. You're gonna keep getting hit by those kicks. I just, I really don't want to hurt you anymore, Andorra Jr. You mean a lot to me, and I just really feel like we just got into a place where, where we just can't be together. So I, just, I need you to stay down. God, seriously, can we get like one other character sprite in this game? I've killed like a hundred of these big muscular Zangief looking pricks in this stage alone. It's like, it's not even fun anymore. Not to mention electricity boys. Like, 
Like, it, it, it's just, it's really starting to suspend disbelief that they could find this many guys with the same body shape who would be willing to run around with electric tuning forks trying to zap people that break into the base. I'm not even getting into the Zangief knockoffs. Like, is there a cloning vat laboratory stage or something that I'm going to find? Like, how much money does Mad Gear spend on plastic surgery, making every halfway decent looking bodybuilder look like the same guy with a couple different skin shades and colored jeans? Because he sure ain't wearing no shirts. Okay, wait, hold on. Alright, there we go. At least they finally gave me a health item. Oh god, more Andor Ace. Look, I'm sorry. Your entire family is not cool. I don't want to hang out with any of you. I don't care if it's Andore. I don't care if it's Andore Jr. I don't care if it's Grandpa Andore. You definitely need to quit hanging out with the Zangief army. Because I don't like any of them. I'm going to kick all of you until you all die. Right next to the solid wall. Because Wall Inc., makers of fine walls around the world, paid a lot of money to Capcom to have the big final fight endorsement. And I'm just... You know what? I'm ready to go back to Metro City. Back to little Jessica Hagar. The hostage of the first game. Make sure she's not throwing a party while her dad's out of town. Inviting a bunch of boys. Bringing in their beer. And look at this guy. Yeah, little. Yeah, pink haired punk. Come here. Yeah, you just see that. You got that white health. Just like Rolent. Knock the white health out of you. I will knock that white health down. Come here. Yeah, yeah. What you got? Huh? What you like? Huh? You want some of this? You clearly want some of this because you broke into this room and are preventing me from taking the hostages home. Huh? You got a problem? Hey, if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while the DJ revolves it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You didn't come here. Your refusal to follow directions is really going to hurt your job review. Yeah, see? Now you're down to pink health. What you want. Alright, got one health bar down. Like 5,000 more to go. Alright, two health bars down. Alright, alright. We're getting, we're getting a battle rhythm here, folks. We are getting into a rhythm. Yes! Ha ha ha! Suplex! Come on, Ritu. Come on, Ritu. Uh, yes! Yes! It felt so good! You feel it! That did not feel good. Stop that. Oh, now it is you who has the rhythm. Alright, alright. Come on, come on. Okay, come on, come on, come on. One more, one more, one more. No! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, if I had my full set of lives, I could have done that. Okay. Well, there is Final Fight 2. In, in its entirety. Pretty much. Except, except for Ritu. And possibly another punk guy after him. I don't even know anymore. Alright, let's play Final Fight 3. Because we got a little bit of time left in this here old glorious episode you know what we're just gonna leave the game level on normal
We're just gonna see how that <gasps> guy, Dean, Lucia, or Hager. We're up to four characters now. Well, let's check out Lucia, because she's new. I guess Lucia replaces Maki. <gasps> Ooh, jiggle physics. How Tomb Raider of her. That that's just so nineties. See, like that just makes me feel perverted. Like, why you gotta do that, Capcom? Come on, man. Like She appears to like the color blue, I will say that. So much kicking! You stole Vegas Claws! He's gonna be ticked! I even got the name right this time. Whoopa! Okay, I gotta like the suplex there. Nice little wrestling move. Little, little belly to belly German suplex action there. Don't appreciate it when you stare at my chest. I know it jiggles. That's really awkward. I could have probably worn more of a top here, but, you know, I didn't. And that is my choice as a human being. And you should not feel like you can objectify me just because of that. I mean, I know the short shorts are pretty small, too. But I did put the vest on. I'm trying. It's just, you know, it's a really warm day. I should not have to explain myself to you guys because you're all about to die. And you're bad people. And I just kicked your wall. And your barrel. My pipe. You like my pipe? I see you looking at my pipe. You know what happens when you look at my pipe? The pipe looks back. Ooh, how zen. Are you looking at the pipe, or is the pipe looking at you? Pipe! Pipe! I lost my pipe. You will be missed, pipe. <gasps> well, you're a big old boy, ain't you? Oh, looking like some kind of cop type person. But I have a feeling you're not a legit cop. Because you seem to be involved with these hooligans. And you're not wearing a proper uniform top though I thought we weren't top shaming you know I'm not judging you because you choose to wear a tank top instead of a nice dress blue officer top you know that's your choice as a human being I'm just saying it makes it harder to believe you're a official respected member of the police force who's not maybe you know working for the criminals 
It happens, especially in fiction. Come on, Dave. Huh? Are you a good cop or a bad cop, Dave? Maybe you're just a cosplayer, Dave. Do you like it when I kick you, Dave? Yeah. Not so tough now, are you? I might even let you in on the screen. Okay, you know I'm going to let you in on the screen. And then you're going to get kicked. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dude, your hitbox for that jump is actually pretty impressive. Alright, bye-bye, Dave. <sighs> Round one, clear. <gasps> Once the battle had been won, it quickly became clear that the riot was simply a smokescreen. The Skull Cross Gang had staged the riot to keep the police busy as they freed one of their leaders from prison. <gasps> it's not the Mad Gear Gang? Ooh. Evolution and advancement in the franchise. Sorry about before. There just wasn't time to explain. My name is Dean, and I used to be just another fighter on the street fighter circuit. <gasps> dun dun dun! But when I refused to join the Skull Cross Gang, those maniacs slaughtered my family. Now I'm going to hunt down every last one of them. Down. And make them pay. But not right this second because we're still playing Lucia. As opposed to Lucina, who's in Fire Emblem. And she's just a wonderful character. Why do you not respect my pipe? Now I can't get my pipe, because the screen won't advance. You cost me my pipe. Look at these trash-filled streets, just horrible. I don't know what we're gonna do. Jack? 
Well, I hope that's not what your parents named you. That would seem kind of mean. Almost like they were setting you up for a lifetime of obesity. It's like... When I was born, my parents named me Fat Jack. And just like that, diabetes. Oh, an alternate Fat Jack is named Arby? What, like Arby's the fast food restaurant? What, you trying to, you trying to say if you eat too many beef and cheddars, you're going to get fat like that? Man, y'all guys got some, you got some problems, man. I think y'all need to sit down with a counselor and, like, figure stuff out. You got Fat Jack, you got Arby. What's his name, Wendy? Or BK? Come on, man. Y'all are better than this. G. It's just G. You know what? I'm just, I'm done with you guys. I'm gonna kick through this fence, I'm gonna go elsewhere. Y'all need to think about your lifestyle choices. Speaking of that, I'm gonna eat me some fries. You know why? Because I'm gonna burn off those calories. It was a small order of fries. No cheese, no chili, no chili cheese, not even ketchup. They were just some potatoes. But this is an old school game, so they weren't made with sea salt. It was regular salt. Sea salt wasn't a thing when this game was made. I apologize if that triggers any of my sodium sensitive people. But that's just how it is when you go retro. Fat shaming, jiggle physics. Call man dresses like a old school boxing referee. Maybe he is. That's fine. Everybody needs a day job. It's legit work. It's better than being a criminal all the time, especially for the Skull Cross gang. A nice Jolly Roger Pirate reference. But I kind of miss Mad Gear. Suppose Mad Gear can only get beat up so many times before they just decide they've had enough. I don't know. being kind of a jerk right now. You and Dave, the cop, call man, the old school boxing referee. I don't know what's going on, but y'all need to settle down. You're very large guys, you got a lot of health bar. I'm done with you, call man. That's right. You you blink and fade away. Whew. All right. I know some of y'all are probably gonna be upset about this, but you know what? do these about an hour and looks like I've still got a good chunk of game and a good chunk of lives left so I'm 
we're going to go ahead and make this a three-part review of a trilogy of games. And just like before with episode one, I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger by starting up the next game in the sequence. So join us next Tuesday. We're going to play Final Fight 3. And if it doesn't take the whole episode, I don't know. Maybe we'll go uh, poke around with something else similar just to fill out the theme time. I know a lot of people do much longer streams, but... You know, right now I'm just kind of still building things up, and I figure especially for people watching these in the archives, it's a pretty good amount of video to watch, so I will see everybody next Tuesday. We're going to finish up the Final Fight franchise one way or the other. Um... Appreciate that tip for those of you who can't see the chat. Um, there was a secret in a earlier level where you throw an enemy through a door in the background. So, I don't know. We're going to research that. If I ever replay these games for my own fun, I will keep that secret door throwing trick in mind everybody enjoy yourselves see you back in seven unless you enjoy my friday vlogs in which case i'll see you in about three days good night everybody